Hello everyone, uh, this is Ori Bloop. Welcome back to another Game Builder Garage tutorial. Um, this is sort of like a, uh, like a follow-up video. Um, not necessarily, but uh, here is another way to do a game select menu using the uh, gyroscopic controls with the uh, right or left Joy-Con. Um, I actually am using my Pro Controller, but if we can see here, um, if we hover over either Game 1 or Game 2, um, our little hand icon pops up. Um, of course, if we press one of these, uh, it will go into uh, either of these games. So let's go ahead and push ZR. And now we go. Here we go. Awesome. Perfect. Uh, let's go ahead and just get right into this and, and let's start building. All right. So the first thing that we're going to actually want to do is uh, create our hand node on. Um, I've worked with this a little bit before, but uh, I'll show you guys again real quick. So if we go to objects and we go to game screen slash camera and go to first person, we can go ahead and see that we have a right hand and a left hand. Uh, you guys could do either or, but I'm going to go ahead and do right hand. Um, this is where the line will either show up on the right side or the left side. Um, let's go into the settings real quick. And um, if we look into our settings, we have a controller number. So uh, this is based on the amount of controllers that you have connected to your Switch. Um, you have Joy-Con left and Joy-Con right. And then the different uh, modes for toggle or hold. Uh, we're not going to go ahead and change anything because the, uh, pro, uh, the pro controller will actually uh, be registered as Joy-Con right. Uh, but of course, you guys could connect uh, your Joy-Cons to it. Um, and let's go ahead and add a uh, grabbing mechanism. So if we go to input, uh, we're just going to go ahead and make it the um, ZR button. So just go ahead and connect it like that. And let's go ahead and add our actual um, text objects or what we what we will be seeing. So of course, um, you guys could change uh, the text objects to actually the title of your game. But I'm just going to be doing uh, game one and game two just to keep it um, really simple. So let me go ahead and change this to uh, game one real quick. And, and then the things that you're going to want to change is you're going to turn off destructive, destructible. Uh, we're going to turn off solid and also movable because we don't want to have uh, us moving the, uh, the text object. And then for other... Um, you guys can see that we can do either can be grabbed or can't be grabbed. Make sure that we do uh, can be grabbed uh, just because we're going to be pushing ZR on it. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and just uh, copy this. So we just copied exactly what was on uh, game one. And if, if you guys don't know how to copy, all you have to do is uh, press this little uh, thing right here. Uh, let's go into the settings and change this to game two. And of course, you guys would have the titles for your games right here. Uh, but if we go ahead and look in the game, we have our game one and game two. Um, and then actually, let me go ahead and uh, for the Z axis, we're going to change it just to 0.10, just so it has like a flat look to it. So we're just going to do that. And if we go back in the game, we could see that um, our... A little white line is popping up. Uh, this is how you guys grab. Uh, it, all you have to do is just wave it around. Um, you can also put, push in the right stick and then it will uh, recalibrate and it just will go right back to the center of the screen. Um, like if you go all the way over here and push uh, the right stick, it will just lock back up. So, um, But now what we can do is if you push ZR, you can actually grab these. But the only problem is now um, that you can wave them around and basically mess up the whole um, idea of having this uh, screen. So we're going to actually go ahead and fix that real quick. Um, all you have to do is grab a um, object that cannot be moved. So basically uh, these become not movable. So if we go to objects, simple objects and box, we can go ahead and uh, make, actually let's go ahead and edit the first one. Uh, in the settings, we're going to turn off destructive, destructible, uh, we're going to turn off movable, solid, and then also in this case, we're going to turn off visible because uh, we do not want it to be shown. And then for connection point, just leave it at Y negative Y plus. So that means that this will be on the bottom of the box. Oh, and then also one last thing, go back into the settings. And for other, 
uh, turn on can't be grabbed because we don't want to grab um, this object. And then all you have to do is go ahead and connect it just like that. Um, and we're going to do the same exact thing for um, this upper one right here. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, connect it just like that. And that should actually work. Um, let me go ahead and see. So now if we hold it and move our uh, pro controller, it will not move. And same with the top one. If we go ahead and grab it, we cannot uh, pull it. And we're going to actually just go ahead and move this down like that. And there we go. So now it looks uh, pretty good. Um, of course, you guys could add as many as you want, but I'm just going to do game one, game two, because the uh, last tutorial I showed game uh, all the way to game three. But um, this tutorial is pretty quickly. So uh, I'm just going to do game one and game two. Uh, but now what we want to do is when we push uh, ZR or when we grab our text objects, we want uh, the game to be uh, registering something and, and output something. So if we go to objects, sensors, and grab a grabbed sensor, uh, this will go off when we grab. So if we go ahead and just make two of these, so that will be for game one, and then game two will be this bottom one right here. Um, actually, I'll just go ahead and put them just like that. Um, what you guys can now do is uh, directly connect a uh you know your what's it called your um swap game nodons uh so all you have to do is is connect it to the grab sensor because this will go off and it will directly connect you to your um your game that you want to swap with so we can just go ahead and make two of these and um i'm just going to do a really quick refresher on the swap game because i know some people uh you know, forgot about it. I have a, I'll have a link in the top right uh, to a video if you guys want to know exactly what to do. But um, for the swap game, all you have to do is uh, for the swap target, uh, make sure that it is the, uh, it's the project with the game keyword, if that makes sense. So we're not going to be needing the game keyword in this project because we're not, we're, we're not switching with anything out. We're going to be needing just the swap tar uh, target keyword, which is the game keyword for the other project. I know that's a little bit confusing, but uh, hopefully that was a really quick refresher. Uh, but I think that's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, add uh, the world element, and I'm just going to go clean it up. So um, if we go to objects and grab a world node on, uh, we can, of course, change the background. And for world shape, we'll just do none. Um, so for world lighting, um, I'll just do it how I did in the demo. So I'll make it to outer space. And then for um, our grab sensors, we're going to just make those invisible so they don't show up on uh, the game itself. And now if we go ahead and look, we could see that it is perfectly functioning and we have our space background and you could see that we have our white line to select um, either game one or game two. Uh, the last thing I'm going to actually do is add a game screen just because I know some people um, like to have them included in all projects. So uh, we'll go ahead and fix this a little bit to make it look good. Okay, let's see how this looks. Let's move it a little bit more up. Perfect. That looks great. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Um, you know, you guys could customize this however you want. Uh, but that's that's it. Uh, thank you guys for watching this tutorial, and I'll catch you guys in another one. Goodbye. Thank you.